Hi Wilton, it's your uh, Scottish friend here with a weird accent. Cut your video uh, a few hours ago. Very good, very impressed. Uh, so I just thought I'd make this little video to show you the GXD. Maybe one or two of its features, if it works. So here we go. I'll just set up, I've got this on the tripod so I can got two, two hands here. Right, here we go, there it is. Just obviously Android based, but obviously a seven, seven inch monitor on it, screen, which is fantastic. Does everything an Android you'd expect from an Android. Uh, the good thing about this is you've got the controls here, the thumb, the shoulder buttons, they're in, they're in line, which makes it slightly more difficult. It's not bad. At the top, you've got your HDMI. Which is a mini HDMI, mini USB, headphones, and your charger. And underneath you've got the slot for your uh, micro memory card. Or is it mini? I can't remember what one is. But I'll take up to 32 gig. Now the good thing about this being a, a gaming device is that uh, you've got your map. You can push that, but it brings up all your mapping, so you can take. All these things are connected to these controls. You just move them about on top of the, the on-screen controls, depending on what what game you have. So I've got a few emulators here. So let's start off with the Marvin, uh, the Spectrum one. Uh, for a free one, it's really good. The just press this. Button over here, we've got all, all the stuff at the bottom here. So if I go to load save game, we've got the, some of the games that I've got here just now. The usual one, there's Manic Miner 48k. Turn it up a bit. So if I just press start, now if you notice the joystick on the screen, move left and right. That's because I've mapped that joystick. Ah, <laughs> press the wrong one now. Start that again. Uh, map the joystick. See, it's on top of there. And you just save it. Glitch. Anyway, you get the idea. Now, if I select that, reset the spectrum. You can just reset it to that. Uh, now, the good thing about this app is if you don't have the game, it'll connect you straight to World of Spectrum. Go to Game. Now, access on World of Spectrum. Uh, we just now games like the ultimate games obviously are not going to be on here. So say I select K and look for Night Lore. Is it Nightmare? Night Lore. And obviously that doesn't have it. It's not here. But we can find it on Google. So what it does, it'll just go in and it automatically finds you somewhere to download the ROM. Which is there. You just download the ROM. Put it in the directory folder. Go back to the game. And... Go on, go back. Back, back. Right. Well, so I'll put it in there. Load, load the game. Night Lore. There we are. Kempston, I think. Now, I think Kempston is use the external joystick that I've got. You can just plug into the USB port at the top. If you turn it on its, on its end, you've got the keyboard here. So just press zero. So 
No, it's just Kempston. I'd need to change the joystick. But it does work. It does work. Uh, another qu quick one. Is... Mame. Again, I wanted it for Mame. So we've got Mame for... Mame for that. Mame for Droid. Obviously it's finding the, the ROMs, but once you find the ROMs, it's uh, fairly fairly straightforward. Insert the coin. Turn the sound up. And press start. Obviously, with it, it's a wee bit more difficult with the joystick, but. You get the idea. Really enjoy playing this. Anyway. But. Thanks again. I'll see you later. Cheers.